Okay, today's project is a bracket for that step. And I had some old bread bed frame material laying around, and I'm also going to try to get to this and make a patch panel. Okay, I'm going to get a lot of flack for this, and I don't have a guard on that grinder. Um, I do have a face shield on, and I'm quite padded up, but I had to get down into that channel and have a long strip cut really accurate. Sometimes uh, I just use what I have on hand. This is actually literally an old bed frame, but it's really good steel. Just gotta grind all the paint off. Yep, she's ugly. We'll get her pretty up though. A little more welding and grinding. Okay, so I have our bracket installed. This guy's nice and solid. this and that. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to do it from underneath the new panel and that butter won't be flopping around so bad. Also, this is all welded and so it's moved out all the way down from years of stepping on it. You can see the diamonds are worn through. I kind of like that. But this is a uh, it folds over and actually supports between the brackets from the sagging. So I had to weld that all back on. And hopefully I'll be strong enough to make it straighten out a little more. Okay, got our bracket on. And I'm really happy with how that lines up. Keep in mind, this is all flopping around. I have a C clamp here. And I'm gonna make this steel. This is all intact, which is really odd. Yeah. I'm also gonna have to make all that new metal in there. I'll do that. Let's see, Let's see where that's missing. Those line up really good. Like I said, it's C-clamped. I have a little C-clamp pinching those together, otherwise the fender just falls. But we'll get that all taken care of in the head. One, two, three bolts in there at one time. Okay, I lost some video, uh, that sucks, but I basically made a box out of this patch panel and the edges fold down and the tabs fold over and then the bottom edges fold up. It's like doubled up around the edges and then reinforced where it bolts to the step. Um, I'm really happy with it. It came out really, really rigid and everything lines up nice. And then here I just have some uh, machine implement rust block that I use and I'll try to make it look similar to the rusty metal around it not the best picture but here we have our new step bracket and our fresh new bolts bolting that fender up to our reinforced box patch panel that we made and this mess is next. Um, a lot of that has to be cleaned out from the inside of the cab. 
little cumbersome, hard to reach spots, but I want to get everything all rust protected and fixed. First, we have that little boogeyman face to get rid of. This little this little patch fits in there perfect from the inside of the cab. And it's uh, still retaining as much of the original metal as I can outside. Yeah, that was a mess in there. Um, we got it all cleaned up. A lot of it from the inside are literally, you see there, actually uh, dental picks. Anything I could get down in there. And with a really powerful vacuum on the outside and in and below, uh, drawing everything out, all the debris. And this odd bugger, this is, uh, this is our patch panel. It's going down in there from the inside. And I welded it up instead of trying to bang that into shape. And I feel it, it, it'll be a lot more rigid. And I doubled that steel up on the flange because it gets bolted up to the body, literally. And here's our patch panel. Um, I did put a rust stop on it first. So it's up and behind the panel, and I have little spot welds from the inside to hold it first. And here the, the welds are grounded down pretty smooth, but I'm I'm happy with that. I, I, I don't want to have to use body filler if I don't if I don't need to. And here's here's with a rust blocker on it. It could be temporary or I could leave it on permanent, but the little boogeyman's gone in that corner there. And um, I might even make another plate to go over top of this to bring the metal up to the thickness of the original metal and weld it in. And I, again, you know, I'm, I'm trying not to use any body filler. And for the record, I didn't do that patch on the door, on the bottom of the door there. Uh, it was purchased like that. Well, I'm going to have to address that. And here's the other side that I did the other day. And compared to how it looked, um, you know, it looks rough here because of the welds. And it's pretty smooth, but it's really good to get that sealed up and everything rigid again. And from from that to this, yeah, I'm really happy. I could live with that.